apple uh, sycamore tree. And as we were pointing out the importance of making sure that your root flare and your root systems are all orientated and going in the right way, here's a tree that's been in the ground for several years. And you can actually see the remnants of a root system that was circling around the trunk of the tree. Now, what you'll see is this root mass here. Roots will graft to roots. What they don't graft to, the roots will not graft to the wood tissue of the trunk. That's two separate types of tissue there. And essentially what happens is this root's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's starting to compress up against the wood tissues of this tree here, or the, uh, the, the stem here. And through time, as this trunk gets bigger and bigger and the root gets bigger and bigger, that constriction point gets more and more and more tight. And to the point where it will actually start restricting the vascular system of that tree. So all of that sugar, and energy made at the crown of the tree as it's trying to get back down to the root system and supply energy to the root system it's no longer able to do that especially on this side of the tree right here and likewise uh, it can oftentimes help restrict the the water and nutrients from the root system from getting back up as well so uh, through time it could be very detrimental this tree is actually uh, quite mature um, and it's probably partially to do with the fact that it's only encompassing less than about 10% of the trunk of this tree here. So uh, not a significant amount. Uh, certain tree species are a little bit more resilient than others and how they cope with girdling roots. Um, and so that also makes a difference as well, but it's important to try and eliminate these issues when they're planted.